Yellowstone's boiling water eruption raises fears of impending disaster. Yellowstone National Park's quiet biscuit basin shattered its silence. Suddenly, a hydrothermal vent at Black Diamond Pool sent a powerful plume of mud, boiling water, and grapefruit-sized boulders into the air. The eruption sent visitors running for safety and sparked a viral storm on Reddit, TikTok, and YouTube. The myth of Yellowstone's supervolcano often clouds the reality, and this non-volcanic eruption has raised questions about safety, science, and the future of America's wildest national park. What does this mean for Yellowstone's fragile ecosystem, its millions of visitors, and the unseen forces simmering beneath the world's first national park. There's been a recent aftershock from last year's hydrothermal vent at Yellowstone National Park. It came in the form of a small eruption from Black Diamond Pool, captured by a new webcam at 8.39 p.m. on May 31st. This is the first eruption from Black Diamond Pool captured on video since the July 23, 2024 hydrothermal eruption, although there is evidence from other monitoring data and some eyewitnesses that sporadic eruptions have occurred several times since the July 2024 event, the United States Geological Survey USGS, said in a statement Monday. The webcam was in Biscuit Basin on May 14th to track activity at the pool following the July 2024 eruption, according to the USGS. Static image analysis indicated changes in the pool on the evening of May 31st, and the uploaded video captured a small eruption from the pool at 8.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Saving Time, the USGS statement said. The camera is facing north-northwest from the Biscuit Basin sidewalk, overlooking Black Diamond Pool. The pool is in the foreground, and the angle of view is tilted, due to the slope of the sidewalk. The cliffs in the background are Summit Lake's rhyolite lava flows, which erupted about 111,000 years ago, long after the Yellowstone caldera formed about 631,000 years ago, according to the USGS. The July 23, 2024, hydrothermal eruption ejected a large amount of rock visible around the pool. The USGS said the webcam is subject to sporadic damage, which may not be immediately repairable, and weather can sometimes obstruct the view. This camera is a temporary deployment, and its views may change or become inaccessible without notice. The USGS said an eruption is likely to occur within weeks in another part of the park. This eruption would occur at Steamboat Geyser, where its last eruption occurred on April 14, after which there was very little activity. The mostly solid magma chamber about 2.5 miles below the surface is what heats the water that erupts from the park. We know about Yellowstone's magma chamber studied magmatic systems in the world, another statement from the USGS said Monday. Scientists have bounced seismic waves off it. They've done electromagnetic imaging to look at the properties of the magma chamber. The results show that the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone National Park is a complex mix of some melt, lots of solid crystals, and even some gas. The magma chamber has a flat top, and most of the roughly 20% of the melt is contained in horizontal lenses called sills, according to the USGS. In addition to having the largest concentration of geysers on Earth, Yellowstone National Park experiences frequent earthquakes. Last month, 119 earthquakes were detected in the park area, the largest of which was a magnitude 2.7 near Yellowstone Lake. This week, 11 earthquakes, all of them less than magnitude 2.3, 
were detected in the park. However, seismic activity there is still at background levels, the USGS said Monday. Some of the world's largest volcanic eruptions have occurred in what is now Yellowstone National Park, and these events over the past 2.1 million years have formed three major calderas, according to the Smithsonian Institution's Global Volcanism Program. The last caldera-forming eruption there occurred 640,000 years ago, according to the Smithsonian, 